Okay. So, so now everybody just take a few deep breaths. And I don't want you to, I, I, I use the word imagine, but imagine is kind of an active idea. Allow your body to let your, any imagery you use come to you. If it's blurry, it's blurry. If it's sharp, it's sharp. Don't force it to change. Let it devolve over time. Okay. And so you don't have to have a perfect image. It can be a blurry image, a clear image. I don't care what it is. But I want, what I want you to do is we're going to work on welcoming. I want you to welcome and accept what is. That's all. You know, look at it from uh, from a distance and say, okay, I can see I'm heavy here. I can see I'm light here. I can see this feels good. I can see this feels bad. None of it is right or wrong. This is learning to accept yourself just the way you are. So take a moment and let's set an intention. Imagine that you could choose a simple intention. I'm going to choose feeling my body more. And welcome the idea that you're choosing feeling your whole body. Matter of fact, you're not going to feel it. You're going to let the feeling come to you. So just make that choice internally. And imagine you could place that choice right here in the, in the frontal lobe or the forehead, the third eye, uh, the, you know, whatever you want to call it. And just welcome the idea that I'm choosing, letting the feeling of my whole body from the, the smallest toe all the way up to the top of my head come to me. I'm going to go on an expiration. Just notice what that feels like. Notice any part of yourself that is resisting this idea, that's, pull, that's, that's wanting to do something, make something happen, and just watch that part of yourself. Notice any part of yourself that's wanting to understand what I mean by that, that's sitting there analyzing or judging it, and just welcome that. Notice any part of yourself that just wants to change because you think you're broken, and welcome that. And then I want you to go back and notice the part of yourself that's setting the intention to just feel and accept everything just the way it is, perfectly imperfect. And then take a few more deep breaths, welcoming and allowing. Even if you feel nothing or numbness or stuck, or your head keeps saying, I don't feel anything, what am I feeling? What does he mean? How does he do this? Welcome that idea too. And then particularly notice what you feel like right through the forehead area, the third eye, the particular, the frontal lobe, excuse me. And now allow that energy, whatever energy is there, the awareness in a sense, to drop down towards your throat and allow your throat and jaw to relax and to loosen and to open as much as it will. Or resist as much as it wants to instead. And just welcome that. And then again, allow yourself to welcome the jaw and the throat and allow yourself to resist feeling that area as much as you do. That could be 1%, it could be 100%. Just as much as your body is resisting on its own. And just observe that, welcome that. And now allow yourself to feel that area and notice how much your body is relaxing in that area as much as you are. 1%, 100%, doesn't matter. And then pay attention to the resistance. And then pay attention to the relaxation. And casually just relax and go back and forth. And now welcome any part of yourself that's wanting to change, shift, manipulate anything you're feeling. That's wanting to do something about it or with it. And then welcome any part of yourself that's looking at it and is getting heavy because you think you're broken and I need to fix this. And then welcome any part of yourself, even if it's small, that thinks it's perfect just the way it is. That can relax into that idea. And now notice the feeling between the forehead, the frontal lobe, and the throat and the jaw. And notice if you can drop that idea of feeling your whole body down to the throat to the point where you can say confidently because you're so in alignment with your intention that I'm allowing the feeling of my body to come to me, that I'm exploring the feeling of my whole entire body. And you can say it 
confidently. You can even say it out loud if you want. Or internally. Now allow the feeling to drop a little lower. All this energy that's been building in the front of the head is dropping down to the throat and, and awareness more than energy, consciousness. And allow it to drop into the chest, the heart. And allow that intention to feel the whole body is just that you spoke about through the throat to spread into the heart and allow the heart area to open as much as it's willing and allow it to come to your consciousness. Notice how much it opens naturally when you ask it to not make it, not force it, but ask it to. Can you open right now? Can it open fully? Do you get become really sensitive to the environment around you? Do you feel the ebb and flow of things? Feel the room around you and beyond? Or does it shut down and go tight and everything becomes cold or numb? Just notice what the experience is. Could be somewhere in between. Could be a little of each. There is no right or wrong. Just allow yourself to experience it perfectly and perfectly. Now again, ask your heart to open. But this time I want you to notice if there's anything, any part of yourself trying to force your heart to open, make it open, wanting to do anything with or about it. Wanting to improve it, change it, fix it. And just observe that part. You don't even have to stop it. Just observe it. Just change it. Just watch what it's doing. And now I ask it to open again. Even 1% more is beautiful. One one hundredth of a percent is beautiful. Compounding interest is an amazing thing. So notice if the heart opens more or even closes more. Sometimes it wants to close before it opens. And then ask it to open a little bit more, feeling the space around you. Then ask it to open a bit more. And again, don't do anything as I say this. Just watch what it does with each sentence I say. You're going to hear what I'm saying and just watch how your body responds. As you ask your heart to open a bit more, a bit more, a bit more, and even a bit more. Now welcome any part of yourself wanting to do anything or with what I just said. And just ask yourself, can you let that go? And then allow your heart to open a bit more. And then watch what it does, letting go of all wanting. And then a bit more, watching what it does, letting go of all wanting. And then a bit more. And just allowing it to be exactly the way it is, where it is, perfectly imperfect. Notice that you're becoming more vulnerable. Welcome any sense of vulnerability that might be in the body. Whether vulnerability means something good or not to you, just notice what your experience of that is. And now welcome any sense of being heavy or tight in the heart, closing down numbness as much as you are. And then again, welcome any sense of vulnerability and just gently move back and forth. You don't have to analyze or get any of this perfect. Just go with the flow and notice what the heart feels like now with that greater sense of feeling or vulnerability. And now go back to the numbness as much as you do. You see, we have both energies running at once within us. So just notice what it feels like to go from one to the other. One could be at 1% and the other could be at 99% or the other way around or somewhere in between. And just notice what it is for you. That's all that matters. And then just let that go and become aware of the feeling that you created through the intention in the frontal lobe, down to the throat, down to the heart. And now I want you to take special note of the level of vulnerability you're at. Just notice, are you sensitive to the environment, to the moment? Do you not like it? Do you like it? This might be a good thing for you, or it might be scary. Or you might be numbing out in response when you're normally feeling. All of it's beautiful, whatever your experience is, is perfect. But this time I want you to take those three energies and drop a little lower to the stomach. 
And I want you to feel what you feel like in the stomach now as you ask the stomach to open. Imagine it's like a little window that's opening and it's only gonna open as wide as you feel comfortable, as your body feels comfortable, as you just observe it. Matter of fact, you don't feel anything. You're just observing the body feeling and letting it come to you like a ride. So as that stomach opens a little wider and a little wider, just notice how it feels. Only opening as wide as it wants to. Welcoming that feeling as that energy from the heart drops down there. And notice if the heart starts to feel a little different as you drop into your stomach. Do you feel a sense of grounding or a sense of, of rooting? Some people do. Or does it feel more uncomfortable? Because some people feel that too. They get to get a real uncomfortable when they get in their stomachs. Just notice what's the truth for you. And then welcome that sense in your stomach a little bit more. And notice what it feels like. Notice if there's any part of you trying to fix change, manipulate the feeling in the stomach, wanting to do something with or about it. And then ask yourself, can you just let that go? Can you reveal beyond it? If you can't let it go. This idea that revealing is just like peeling an onion. You just move one little tiny layer, super thin, and notice how it feels different. And then reveal again. And remove another tiny layer and notice how it feels different just sitting there not trying to remove much at all maybe a matter of fact way less than one percent probably and just peeling that onion a little bit at a time exploring with a new level as you go deeper and deeper into the feeling in your stomach and you may reach a point when you can just release it all if there's resistance and if there's not resistance, you may just reveal more and more of love, power, expansion of the best energies inside yourself as you go deeper and deeper. Now allow yourself to notice again the pathway we're creating from the intention to feel the body down to the throat where you can speak your truth to the heart, where you can fall in love with it. Whereas you may be feeling sad right now or heavy, eventually you can fall in love with it as you reveal beyond the resistance of the heart. The stomach, where you start to feel more solid. And notice if in the stomach there's a thickness or, or, or a little bit more denser energy that's starting to come up. If so, just notice that. If not, notice that. As you now allow the energy to drop a little bit lower, Allow it all to run right down into the pelvis area, right below the belly button, over the, the hip bones, down towards the groin, almost like creating an upside down pyramid. Notice what that feels like. Welcome that feeling. And for a lot of nice guys, this is where they go numb. There's a, this is your creative center where you create powerfully from. You can create corporations, you can create art, you can create intent, your intentions come to life. You get motivated to take action because this is also where you create babies. So if you can create a baby, you can create anything. And if you welcome the energy in this area and it starts to charge up, you'll start to notice it has a turn on to it or an aliveness to it. Uh, sometimes it's a heating or a tingling. For me, it started out as almost like a tingling heat and it grew as I let go of my shame. So notice what that feels like in this area, what it feels like for you right now. In the beginning, I felt numbness. And just notice if that's the case. Then I felt this one tiny speck of feeling, a tingle, and it started to grow. I just watched it. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't try to change it. I didn't try to manipulate it. I didn't try to grow it. I just watched it and it grew and it grew and expanded and expanded and it grew into more and more. So notice what's there. Now, if there's a lower emotion in that area, a repressed emotion, it might feel like sadness, guilt, anger. And then as you watch it and observe it more and begin to reveal, peeling the layers of the onion, allowing it to just go a hair deeper with time, you'll find that energy will move upwards. It might move up and down at first. It might go from anger to sadness and back up, but eventually you'll find yourself in courage loving, acceptance, loving, and then eventually love and beyond. And you'll feel your turn on kick in. And notice what turn on does for you in life. Turn on 
makes you want to take action. Turn on makes you want to take inspired action. Turn on makes you feel alive. So continue to reveal in this area. Reveal beyond what you're feeling now. What is the next layer of the onion to feel like? And then reveal beyond that. And the next layer. And the next layer. As you go deeper and deeper. A little bit at a time. Because turn on doesn't just create babies. It creates businesses. It creates art. It creates passion for life. Now again, notice the pathway we're creating from intention to being able to speak confidently about what you're creating to your heart where you fall in love with it, to your stomach where your gut instincts and your self-esteem kick on and I can do it, all the way down to your turn on where your passion and creative energy start to kick in. And then let's welcome one more energy. Drop a little lower down towards the perineum, the, the basically the uh, anus or the, or the whole base of the spine and the spinal area and begin to feel down the backs of your legs even and just notice what that feels like. Feel the earth beneath you and see if you can let that whole area of what the perineum and the anus base of the spine, just ask it to relax or loosen or open just like we did everything else, whatever makes sense to you and allow it to open as much as it will. A tiny bit is fine, a lot is great. Whatever it does is perfect just the way it is. Because compounding interest takes care of the rest. All you have to do is observe and watch. So again, notice if there's any part of yourself trying to do anything with or about this, wanting. And ask yourself if you can just let go of the wanting to change this. Just get good at observing and setting an intention with no wanting. Choosing, very different than wanting. And just feel what it feels like. What does the back of the legs feel like? Can you feel the earth beneath you? What does the perineum feel like? And just welcome the feeling you're having. Can you feel the earth beneath you? Can you let the earth support you? Because literally walking all day, the earth is supporting you, is it not? The earth gives you a base from which to walk and move on. The earth gives you food, water, shelter, oxygen, everything you need to be alive. Whether you resist it or not, the earth is always taking care of you. It's always giving you all the supplies you need to grow and live the next year of your life. So feel your legs, feel the ground beneath you, feel your perineum as much as you do. Then feel the earth as much as you do. Then feel your grounding as much as you do. And then feel the earth as much as you do. And then feel the earth and your grounding as one, as much as you can. Welcome the feeling as much as you're willing. And then let it go for a second. Just be. And then welcome it again. And then let it go. And then welcome your grounding again. And let it go. And then notice how good you feel or how heavy you feel. And then let all that go. And notice the flow of energy from the head all the way down to the grounding. And notice what your body feels like. And now I particularly want you to notice if your heart feels different, connect it all the way down to the earth. Does your heart feel more solid? Does it feel more nervous? Does it feel more powerful? Or does it feel more reactive? Can you feel the earth supporting you? Can you feel the earth giving you a space to ground from when, something, when you feel something with your heart? And I want you to particularly allow your heart to reach out and touch the space around you as much as, it, as it's willing. Reach out and touch in the distance, the earth around you. And as far as you reach out in front of you, I want you to feel down to the earth. Allow yourself to feel, grow roots as deep as you feel out in front of you without forcing. If it's a little bit, it's a little bit. If it's a lot, it's a lot. So again, now notice what your grounding feels like. Notice what your heart feels like. Notice what your grounding feels like. Notice what your heart feels like. And then notice the pathway from your heart to your grounding. 
and back. And now sit with it for a minute and just explore it and just practice observing without trying to change a thing. If there's any wanting, watch that too. You don't even have to change the wanting, you can just watch it. If it can move to choice, allow that to happen. Notice what it's like to choose the feeling versus want the feeling. And just be with that. Beautiful. Now, just let all the concepts in your mind go and just be and notice how you feel. You can look around the room, start to come back. You can touch stuff, but continue to just notice how you feel. Be aware. Awareness is the first step to change. Learning how you, in contrast, in other ways to say it, it's very powerful for growth. So welcome the contrast, welcome the feeling. 